I've been playing around like a schoolboy, basically. Delighted what I'm uh, seeing here and finding a number of different compositions. I don't think I'm ever destined to get photographs with fog. I was checking the forecast uh, last night and it's early morning right now and I came out and I said, you know, I want to come back to my new playground. It's higher than normal. Fog is in the forecast. I've driven up the road. There's fog along the road. I arrive into the woods and pretty much nothing. Now, there's a small, tiny, 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 tiny bit, but I can see looking at the distance here that I'm slightly below where the fog line is. So. To my left, your right, there's an area that I haven't explored yet uh, with the camera, so I'm going to go exploring it now this morning. We're going to have a look and see if I can find this fog. It's some beautiful old trees as well, so I think I hopefully will get some nice shots. I'm going to use my 70-200 uh, primarily, I think, to be able to kind of zoom in to catch that fog. But yeah, hopefully I'll get some fog images. It's been a long time coming, and uh, yeah, I'm lucky that I was able to get out this morning when there was fog, but yeah, let's see anyway. Let's go, come on, maybe we'll get some fog, maybe we won't, but yeah, we're out anyway, so let's enjoy it. think I found the perfect spot. So there is fog now around me here. It's actually quite dense, but I'm in an area where there's some really, really, really green trees. You've got some remnants of leaves as well from the autumn, which is quite surprising considering we're almost at the end of January. And with the fog, I think it's going to be perfect conditions. I'm going to change out lenses now because I had the long lens on. I'm going to change to my uh, 24 to 70. And I'm going to go at 2.8 as well, I think. But, uh, really fade out the fog that's in the background and get some kind of nice intimate details as well of these beautiful trees that I'm surrounded with here. I think there's going to be a lot of shots that I'm going to take uh, in this very very small area because from a 360 view I've got a beautiful tree that's here. I've got this tree here which you can kind of just see on your frame behind me into the distance. There's a number of different trees as well to, be able to look at and with the fog as well that we have here it really does bring out separation within the image which is something I've been chasing for a long long time to the that I'm able to get it now actually uh, this morning so yeah I'm going to change out the lens and uh, yeah I'm going to go handheld for a couple of shots just to pick out some compositions and once I get those then I'm going to introduce the tripod again and then lock off those uh, compositions to, be able to take those shots but yeah this could actually be what exactly I was looking for
Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm down, as you can see, really, really low to the ground. And there's the remnants of a tree. I think this is actually part of the tree that I'm looking at, which is right at the very, very base of it, the trunk. And that's given me a nice uh, first focal point on the image. And I'm looking at this really, really, really gnarly looking tree that's here. Doesn't have any leaves that are left on it, but with the fog and the distance, it really is starting to uh, stand out. I've taken a couple of different exposures because I'm so close to this, I want to focus stack. So I'm going to take three different uh, images, one for right here, one for in the center, and then one for infinity in the distance. And then I'll merge the three of those shots together. But I think this is a beautiful photograph. Right now I'm taking it in portrait orientation. I'm going to switch that out as well now to landscape just to see if I can capture a bit more because the tree does not fill the whole frame, it goes past the frame, so it won't make much of a difference if the tree is being cut off from the top of the frame, in my opinion. So I'm going to change that out, like I say, to landscape, uh, and then do exactly the same thing. Take three photographs, one for the foreground, one for the midground, and one for infinity. And that should then allow me to be able to get a sharp photograph the whole way through, but with the distance and the background fading out because of this beautiful fog. Still within, I don't know, 20 feet of where I dropped my bag a moment ago and I found a different composition of the same tree but coming back further. And there's another tree that was cutting out here and I got a couple of photographs of the leaves that were on that. But by positioning myself here, it does actually make it look like these leaves belong to that bear tree that's in the background. And the idea now I'm thinking here is I'll take again a sequence of photographs for different focus um, positioning and then I'll blend the three of them together. But yeah, another photograph I think that, you know, Quite interesting to be able to find, but the, the fog in the background really, in my opinion, brings that image totally to life. Settings I'm playing around with different uh, focal lengths and I'm also playing around with different apertures as well, so it's going to vary. But I think on right now, because I'm going to do the focus stacking on this, it's at f5.6 and a relatively quick shutter speed in my ISO then is at 100. But I'm actually underexposing the image. Maybe that's the wrong thing, maybe that's the right thing, I don't know. I haven't really photographed fog that much, but my concept behind it is by underexposing it, I'm not going to lose any detail in the sky. Should be able to bring back up the shadows, but also because I'm doing a multitude of exposures, I should have the detail as well in each of those images. But yeah, we'll see. But here's another shot anyway from now. I could stay here all day, but I do only, I don't have a short, short period of time, so. I see one more tree here that I want to get a photograph of. So yeah, we're going to go down to that right now and that will be the last spot that I visit on this date here today, even though, like I say, I could stay here forever. So this really will have to be my final shot, even so, since I record the last piece of the camera here, I've been playing around like a schoolboy, basically. Delighted what I'm uh, seeing here and finding a number of different compositions. I can't really film a piece of camera for every single one, but I'll show you the images that I've gotten at the very end of this anyway. But yeah, last one here, as you can see, this really, really old tree. And with this old wall that's here, you've got lovely greens on the mosses as well that are there. You've got a bit of the leaves that are remaining on this. Don't know if I'm going to get those into the composition or not, but I will play around and see. But it will be important that I really compose this photograph well, because with the fallout in the background from the fog, not much to consider here. So it's going to be all about the foreground and then leading up into this tree. So I might actually end up going down here by my feet and shooting back up this way to be able to get most of that tree uh, within the frame. So hope you've enjoyed coming along on this. Uh, fog adventure with me on my new playground. I certainly have had a lot of fun anyway. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of the episode. Let me know in the comments what you think of the photographs. If it's your first time on the channel, you know, the usual, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, from my beautiful playground in fog, Schlangefall.